example, we have a really neat grassroots project to tell you about. So hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of musical instruments and equipment is actually being put in the hands of at-risk youth from coast to coast. So tell us about this initiative. It's called Music Counts. It is called Music Counts and this community grant will literally benefit thousands of youth right across the country and here in Toronto there's a program it's called Sketch. It has seen about 8,000 youth over the years. It's been open about 16 years and now those at-risk kids are getting their hands on shiny new instruments giving them a sense of pride and renewed confidence. It's given me resources to record and learn about uh, sound engineering and to be like independent and everything. From feeling isolated on the brink of homelessness, music has helped 25-year-old Helen Carlson break through personal barriers. So much I will try. Two years ago, she connected with Sketch, an at-risk youth community not-for-profit program. It helps you to get some skills that you can stick to hope, you know, and to feel like you can get yourself out there. Today, the organization was given a big boost, with TD Bank opening up its wallet to support programs like this one. It's $200,000 grant spread across the country, so we're able to do 15 community groups this year. This is all part of that large donation you were looking at, $20,000 worth of equipment right here. It's not only going to be shared here in this building, but Sketch will be opening up another building where other people will be able to use stuff like this over on Shaw Street. This is going to allow us to go to other agencies where, where people don't feel comfortable coming to a place like Sketch because they don't know about it or it's, you know, they're, they're afraid of change. Local sketch musicians are also collaborating with seasoned artists like Juno nominee Kevin Drew, who also helped get the indie rock band Broken Social Scene off the ground. He's also the inspiration behind the initiative. There's no barrier, there's no high or low level. I come in, we're the same people, we get together, we play music the same way, no different than how social scene started. It's also been inspiring like to be able to meet and work with other musicians. And now my life is going places and I'm very happy just where it is right now. So the rest of this grant, Francis, mm -hmm. it's, uh, the whole thing is $200,000. It's going to be spread across similar organizations right across the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, uh, this grant was made possible in part by TD, and they're saying that they are hoping that this will continue for years to come. So you it's know, very nice. You know, music does inspire. Uh, I think when I was in grade 7, I picked up the saxophone. Mine was the flute. The flute. <laughs> That's right. Yes. It didn't last long, but, you know, you remember that, right? You do. And you really enjoyed it. You do so remember it. this is a it. wonderful program, especially and for the at-risk I youth. wish I had continued in music. I wish mm -hmm. I played the piano. So right now at home, we have all our kids, yes. and we've given them all a, some kind of instrument that mm -hmm. they can play with. Because, you know, music is a great gift. Don't say a too. recorder, because I think that one's a, a little recorder. bit annoying. We've got the keyboard, we've got the yeah, tambourine. Nice. So we've got some noisy instruments, I wish I but could it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would be Either nice. way, it's fine. <laughs>